strange traces of strange radiation. About 55 years ago, a scientist worked in the field of nuclear physics discovered traces in photographic films in the form of rings 50 microns in diameter as well as continuous or dotted lines several millimeters long. These traces appear during electrical discharges in water. According to estimates, they were left by strange particles moving parallel to the film plane at a speed of about 40 meters per second and having energy more than 100 mega electron volts. In a magnetic field, they moved along a parabola. These particles could sharply change the direction of the movement. Within the area of one square centimeter, the traces of different particles had the same shape. These particles could pass through solid materials, they could be accumulated inside them and after a while come out. The appearance of particles was somehow connected with change in the isotopic composition of these materials. These particles have been found to be harmful to health. It was assumed that the strange particles are magnetic monopoles, magnetoelectric toroids or tachyons. These models could not explain all details of appearance of the observed tracks. We assumed that the strange particles are multiply charged clusters. A certain number of ions of the same sign located in a shell of polarized water molecules. This shell is the injuhomonous electric field of the charge is compressed and compensates the force of Coulomb repulsion charges. When approaching a surface, the cluster emits part of the charge and repels from it, and the chain of traces is formed on the film. In an electric field, a cluster with a charge is affected by the force proportional to the product of the charge and the electric field tension, and by the force of friction against air, proportional to the square of the product of the cluster radius and the speed of its movement. In these forces, are equal, the cluster moves with the constant velocity proportional to the square root of the ratio of the charge and the square of the radius. The calculation shows that this ratio is the same for all the clusters. Therefore, of clusters with different charges in the external electric field move again with the same speed and change its direction of the movement simultaneously. Electric discharges produce clusters with a positive or negative charges. In electric field, they move in opposite directions with the same speed. It is possible that a charged cluster embedded in a solid distorts the electric field of a crystal lattice. This can cause a rearrangement of the composition of atomic nucleus. Thank you for attention.